Okay, welcome back to another episode of the old radio shop. This is the cabinet of the Zenith 8S359. And you see I've got quite a bit of cabinet work to do because there is totally no finish left on this side of the cabinet. And then over here, I've got a big chunk of veneer missing. So I'm going to have to do I don't know if this is a burl walnut, a burl mahogany, it doesn't quite look red enough for mahogany, but it may be. It's a pretty thin veneer. Pretty thin. I'm going to have to replace some here and some around this side. And I um, don't know if I'm going to replace this whole side up to here where it makes the thing. I know this is a bookmark matched. Or if I'm going to end up replacing the whole thing around the corner, I really don't want to have to, but if in order to make it look fine, I may end up doing that. I'm also missing some of this, I call it tiger stripe ish veneer here and here, and I can probably fill that in. Missing dirty, missing lots of finish there. I do have, looks like the grill cloth got wet at some point in time I may just leave that alone because you know if you try to wash it it's going to fall if you try to wash it it's going to fall apart and I don't know if I can actually find this grill cloth anymore this zenith weave I think I can I'll look online I'll see I may just leave that alone dirty spider webs cobwebs that's what basements are good for Spider webs. On. Continue on the 8S359. I did get my veneer in, so I'm in the process of removing the crappy veneer from this one side. I'm going to leave the veneer alone on the other side because it is intact. Okay. So I can do a complete refinish of this cabinet. There's some places here and there. There's a little patch I need to do here. And I'm having, I got most of this off with the heat gun and one pretty big strip. But I'm having a little bit of trouble with it right here. And right here, and I'll have to take this wooden piece off if I can figure out exactly how it's nailed upon. I don't know if it's one thing nailed on or three things nailed on. I'm going to have to figure that out so that I can lay my new veneer out so I don't have to cut rear weird and spooky things and I don't want to mess my veneer up over here if I can, over here if I can help it at all so I'll be removing this I'm going to keep even though it's a little stain I'm going to keep the original grill cloth because it's hard to find any right now uh, I may see if I can kind of clean it up without destroying it I know it's hard to do but uh, that's what we're looking at here. I'm gonna remove this board here after a while and, and then we'll go to refinish. Some of this stuff will just sand off and flake off. I won't even have to move use any finish or anything on it. And that's where we stand. So we'll be back after we do a little bit more work trying to remove this off from here over. I'll also have to give me some more details to see if I can find some. I'm sure I can find something that says shortwave and shortwave two on it because that one, that should remain. It may come off when I go to do a re-finish up here, but it may not. So I got the bad veneer off this side, except for the little band thing. I did get the big piece completely off. Most of it came off with a heat gun. Some of it came off with, I had to chip it. So here near the end, I had to chip it. I still have not yet figured out uh, this is mounted on so that I can remove it and put my veneer on neatly behind it without having to cut out little stair steps and all that up there. I could do that if I had to, but I want to avoid that if I can. These three bars are screwed on, but I don't know if anything else, if this is screwed on back behind here, and if it is, it's behind the shelf. And I guess I could remove the shelf on the back, although it wouldn't be very easy to do so. Looks like there's some screws here and there. I can remove the shelf and see see what's behind it. So we may just do that. Uh, but that's where we are right now. While I was at it, the 
the uh, finish on the top was so worn that I was able to just peel it off basically with a paint scraper just by scraping across it and it just flew into dust so all of that has been removed so so far into dust without having to do any type of chemical stripper it just came right off as you can see the side here is kind of the same way so we're going to continue working on it as soon as we figure out how to get that off we will be putting our new veneer on and we'll see you later on figured something out with the zenith and that is the top of the cabinet will separate from the bottom of the cabinet so it allowed me to get behind that trim piece which stayed with the bottom of the cabinet lucky lucky me getting ready to put on a piece of veneer over here and under here and under here it's going to be fun I'm not going to try to do it on camera because it will be a mess show you the results when we're done so stick around stay tuned I'll have to get all the rest of this off this is the veneer staying but the, the finish has mostly been removed from this end and I'm just gonna have to get the rest off here and that will have to give me a brand new detail for here and I do know they are available from a place that some people hate but uh, that's who has them. I'll get them. Greetings, folks. I've got the new piece of veneer glued onto the cabinet, the top of the cabinet. You'd make a shorty console, wouldn't it, if it was just this part of the cabinet? Anyway, I still will have to come back and trim out, but I'm going to let the glue set overnight and into tomorrow. And when I get home again tomorrow, I will do the trimming off the edges, off the top and the bottom, and the back side, and the holes and where it goes and it should look much better. Sorry for the noise out here, uh, my outdoor space where I have to glue and whatnot because it's stink of the basement. Workshop is right next to the wonderful world of air conditioners. So that's what we got going on here. So I have glued it down, uh, going to let the glue sit and we'll see you next time from this portion of old radio shop to take a look at the veneer after I've trimmed it before I get ready to prepare it to color. So we'll see you in a bit. Talk to you later. Bye.